<laughs> hey guys, this is from the cast here and welcome back to another video and this isn't necessarily an unboxing, this is more of a review of the Nvidia Shield and I personally um it's it's pretty amazing. Um probably the only downsides I've had with it is when it apparently like some some of the games crash, like although I don't have very many compatible games with it. I have Hawken, although you can't jump. I found that to be quite odd that they didn't input those physics, but um, the mobile gaming and the Android games, yes, those those were easy to map, all that stuff. Most of them were already pre-mapped, you know, and it, they, yeah, it was really fun to play. So, um, I so the next part, um, like. But, it's it's pretty mobile, you know, you can like sit on your couch and stuff, play games, be happy, maybe eat some chicken nuggets from McDonald's in the meantime. <laughs> just just some random stuff. So, um now let's get into pairing it. It's it's pretty easy to pair, like basically you just click the button that like you just connect. You, you can either go into settings or just click get started, you know, do that stuff. You just click on your computer because most likely it's already compatible. You need a GTX 650 or higher. I have a 750 Ti and those are, they're decent. They're not, you know, the greatest of all time, but I was surprised at actually how fast they run. So, back to the video again. So, um, the Nvidia Shield is pretty amazing. Um, at, I, I like I like that idea of um, playing your PC games like while you're around the house. And I had some problems going around, and going to other people's places and stuff. But the only reason I they accidentally had my um, Ethernet cable not in, it, it was like slightly out. Because it said that it was like in sleep mode or something. I was like, what? It was confusing. Yeah. So, now I'm back to this. So, um, basically, you can play. Uh, this is some Assassin's Creed Unity gameplay, and it crashes near the end. And I'm like, what? It, it it's done that quite a bit. It, I don't know. Assassin's Creed um is very compatible with it. It's just odd that it crashes, you know, for me. I don't know about those other people. So, and then, I decided to play Hawken, and the only downside about playing that is that as soon as you open it, you have to sign in, and you cannot use the keyboard on your Android, so now you have to get on your keyboard and type it up yourself. And then, and then you can go wherever you want. After that, and then, and then once you quit the game, yeah, you'll have to be like back home and fixing it. It's, it would just be a pain in the butt. Um, so I don't have very many compatible games with it. I only have like two compatible games. Well, I mean, sometimes Battlefield can work, but I don't plan on playing that very much. I got kind of tired of it. So, yeah. So the, um, there's some Hawking gameplay. It, I suck. <laughs> Well, on there, it's just super hard to see because I have the camera in front of me and then the long lens aiming at it and then all that stuff. So, um, basically, that, that about wraps it up. Another thing to add is that the NVIDIA Shield has three ports on the back. It has an HDMI, a mini HDMI port, a headphone jack, and a charger port. And charger, um, the charger that it comes with make sure you use that. Do not use anything other than that because it's specified by NVIDIA for the Tegra 4 processor and the major battery pack because it makes it charge faster and you would be better off with that. And for a better gaming experience you can hook up a mini HDMI cable or a different gaming experience and so you plug in the HDMI, the mini HDMI cable to the back of the NVIDIA Shield, then plug it in to the back of your TV 
simple as that. And then a list of council mode and mirror mode and the difference is that the council mode and mirror mode, they, um, so council mode has, will basically shut off your screen so that it, it can make it 1080p on the output. And then basically mirroring just mirrors it, it like your screen is still on and yeah, that, that's about it. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video is fun working with you guys. And as always, from the cast out. Yeah.